Decades ago, when researchers began publishing their discoveries of soft tissue with recognizable intact cells inside of dinosaur bones, plenty of shocked and highly embarrassed evolutionists disputed those results. After all, nobody knew, and by the way, still nobody knows, a process whereby flesh and bones could persist or survive over the so-called millions of years that evolutionists insist that dinosaur fossils have endured. One popular evolution explanation asserts that the soft tissues are not from the dinosaurs at all, but from bacteria that somehow infiltrated their bones and built what they call biofilms. Of course, the so-called bacterial biofilms just happen to have been built in the exact same shape as dinosaur tissue and cells. <laughs> A new report of 8-inch long sheets of soft tissue inside a 22-inch long triceratops horn presents extremely difficult hurdles for the so-called bacterial biofilm hypothesis. Two biology professors co-authored a scientific report just recently. Their electron micrographs showed fine details inside the bony Triceratops horn core. The authors obtained the horn from the Hill Creek Formation in Montana. It's famous for its well-preserved dinosaur remains. The horn was damp when removed from the rock and it soon broke into several pieces, showing that it was already fractured. The researchers working from the biofilm hypothesis therefore suspected that the bacteria could have penetrated the horn through these cracks and then lived on the nearby liquid. Despite what promised to be a bacteria-friendly environment, the soft tissue they actually found looked nothing like the supposed bacterial biofilms that evolutionists use to explain the existence of soft tissue inside of dinosaur bones. Instead, when the research pair demineralized parts of the bones, soft tissues emerged as some of the dinosaur bones' original minerals departed. The study authors found these large strips of thin, light brown, soft material. They also identified bone cells called osteocytes, including internal nucleus-like spheres, the author said, as well as other components expected to be found within the complex inner makeup of the distinct bone cells. A huge hurdle for the bacterial biofilm story of evolutionists is that no known biofilm looks just like bone cells, complete with their complex inner makeup components. This report of Triceratops soft tissue adds to the now long and ever-growing list of discoveries of original skin, blood vessels, blood and bone components found in several species of dinosaur remains, as well as other animals. The evolutionary bacterial biofilm explanation neither matches nor elucidates any of these finds. Is it time to interpret dinosaur fossils as recent sedimentary deposits, perhaps from a global flood as recorded in Genesis? Well, guess what the fossils actually say? The fossils say, yes, it's time. Do you ever wish that you could more powerfully, succinctly, and accurately speak to the message of your Christian faith and the Word of God? This is the book you need, The Magic Man in the Sky, Effectively Defending the Christian Faith. This book has been featured on TBN, Atlanta Live, dozens of radio programs, and hundreds of markets. It was rave-reviewed by the Washington Times, and it was called a must-read book. Considering the times in which we now live, you need this book. Get it today on Amazon.com or the WND Superstore.